What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. Your boy, Trey 57 Productions. Get with it or get left behind. And right now, this video is me speaking on... Um, by the way, my bus is empty. Um, this is my layover. But I want to talk to the parents and the mothers out there. To the parents and the mothers that like to ride their children around in those buggy carriage bikes in traffic. You say you love your children. I believe that you do. But it is very reckless. I don't care who passed the law where it's okay to do it. You should not want to have your bike in the middle of traffic knowing people can't drive as it is. They don't pay attention to motorcycles. They don't see motorcycles. What do you think is going to happen when they see you? They're going to see you when it's too late when you up under their car. Please keep those bikes off the road. Even the pedal bikes. Y'all driving all out in front of traffic. Um, swerving in and out of lanes. Just flying because they get a red light. But you can keep going. But they get a red light. They can't go nowhere. They got to sit exactly where they're at. So if you're going to ride on a road and they got to follow the rules of the traffic lights, you should follow the rules of the traffic lights as well and give your left and right turn hand signals. All right? Some of y'all do um, use your signals or you got signals on your bike, but you still weave in and out of traffic. Knowing a car to the left or right, you might come up and then knock you off the bike, and then who gonna look like the bad person? The person driving that truck car or whatever they driving, because they hit you and now you in a hospital or you in a cemetery. Pedal bikes do not have insurance, people. What happens when you hit somebody's car with that bike? Is your bike insurance gonna cover that car? Do they got bike insurance that I'm not aware of? So it's really not even about the insurance thing with the bike. It's about y'all riding y'all children around in these carriage bikes. And they got the ones that look like canoes where the child sits inside of the, the front of the little canoe bowl. And the, the mom or dad is just pedaling along. They got mirrors attached to each side of the handlebars. Cool. Save that for the bike trail. There are bike trails, people. Yes, those bikes are cool. But this is not the era where they rode bikes around and it was maybe a few motor vehicles on the road that didn't even really go that fast. These cars nowadays and even back in the early days, they were souped up and they even super souped up now. Your bike does not have a bumper. They hit the back of that tire, that tire gonna fold up and you gonna fold up and then y'all gonna be rolled up in a coffin. You and your child. If you really love your child, stay off the road with that bike. I can't stress that enough. I'm sick and tired of being out in the middle of traffic and then somebody with a bike with a child on it cuts in front of you. And if they don't cut in front of you, they use a signal and then they get in front of you and then they do two mile an hour all the way up a hill. They ride the middle of the lane. Then you go around them and they looking at you like you're crazy. First of all, I'm not trying to be late behind you and I don't want to hurt you or hit you in my car. But they give you the stinky eye when you pass them up. Like as if you're trying to hurt them or hit No, you're not. I want you off the road. I mean, who is that excited about going to the ER? I ain't going to say the cemetery because once you go there, you ain't going to be excited about nothing. It's just going to be closed curtains for you. But if you love your children, stay off the road with them buggy bikes. They even have the moms that put their kids on backpacks and the moms and dads is riding their mountain bikes weaving in and out of traffic now first of all you got a kid that you're carrying the minute an accident happened where a child is involved it's over 
for the other party. I mean, depending on the situation, but I'm going to look at it as it's over for the person that hit you. Even if it was your fault. I've seen parents come flying off a hill straight into the intersection. Straight into the intersection. And some of them don't have mirrors on the sides of their bike and they just dolly walking. Dolly walking, that's right, dolly walking through traffic. Nobody wants to come scrape a kid or a parent off the highway. No. Y'all got them on the back of your bikes. On the back of your bikes. It look like y'all riding them with a milk crate with the holes cut out with the legs and the kid is just leaning left to right sitting in the back of this little bucket. And y'all not even aware if they even still back there. They could have fell off kerplunk and you still pedaling. Well, how could that happen? Y'all think that's funny? Let me tell you something. I watched a parent or a guardian cross the street. Hold, they was holding her kid's hand. The light turned. I don't know if they realized they was holding her kid's hand or not, but they went across the street. Then they actually turned around and then looked down and was like, oh, my kid is back there. But the kid had already started coming. The cars slamming on their brakes. We have to be parents. We have to be parents. No, I'm not blocking the road, whoever that is back there. Keep going, doing your thing. Go about your business. I'm doing me, you do you. I'm at work. Well, I'm actually on a layover. Talking to the driver back there, see if they can hear me. Um, but people, if you love your children, please keep those Keep those pedal bikes off the road. Take them to a certified bike trail. They really have a lot of certified bike trails in the state that I live in um, and the surrounding cities. These parks are huge here. They got flat trails. They got challenging trails. But take them out to a flat park, ride around a couple obstacles. Let the kid enjoy some air while you on that, uh, that trike, the two wheels in the front with the basket and then the one wheel in the back. I look, yes, they're cool. And they make them easy now for a, uh, they make them easy for uh, a person to pedal, even going up hills, like the gear ratio, like they got it, they got it really good. So you can just, you ain't got to put no muscle into it. But that's just me speaking on that because I love y'all and everybody should want to, to live long. Okay. If you don't want to live long, let your kids live long and keep them off the road on them buggy carriage bikes. I mean, if we was living in a bike world, by all means, deck your bike out. Make it cool looking, color it up, have ribbons hanging from it if that's what you want to do. Get you some off-road tires. And, 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 but we live where there are cars and it's been that way for centuries. Drive on a certified bike trail um, and I, I, I want to say the sidewalk but they've even made it to where um, it's crazy like they, certain cities don't want you riding pedal bikes on the sidewalk no more when I came up everybody was riding bikes on the sidewalk you wasn't on the street you got in trouble for riding a bike on the street they called your parents because they seen you riding around in the middle of the road even though bikes are for the road but not in the middle of highway traffic yeah i've seen bikers with um 10 speeds um you know those street bikes they make them for the street they really do they got bike shops and bike shops and bike shops is big here it's popping here but it ain't popping when you get popped by a car or a truck and you know then the ER gotta see you and then what happened to him uh, a car hit me well that's what you told the hospital tell them the truth you rode out in the traffic you made a mistake by bringing your pedal bike and putting it on the road where motor vehicles travel look y'all they got these electric scooters right they don't go but so fast they don't gotta go fast because you can fall at five mile an hour and break something. But they got these electric scooters and they got docking stations. They probably got like five or six scooters lined up. And you show up, you pay like $5 for an hour or whatever it is. And depending on how much you pay, they say that's how fast they go. I doubt that. 
but I believe they all go the same speed if they're charged up accurately and people are responsible for bringing back the those shouldn't be on the road. They're on the road. They illegalize those as well. You can ride these stand-up scooters and they, they say that it, it's better for the atmosphere. People got to get to work. They can, Yeah, but they weaving in and out of traffic too. Like the common sense of people, y'all, is not right. I understand the person that authorized it. They want y'all to go to the ER. Well, drivers need to be more careful. No, you need to stay off the road. A driver has enough to worry about as it is. The elements out there, um, road conditions, traffic, emergencies. Now, you put yourself in that that um, path. Come on now. Come on now. So let's get it together, y'all. Um, get off the road with them bikes. I'm not going to make this happen. It's not going to happen because I made a video that says stay off the road. I'm just saying this to somebody that thinking about taking their kid out on the road. Yes, they're full once again. Take them to the park. Ride around in a park. Ride around on a dead end street where you live and uh, if you live in a cul-de-sac. A couple laps around there. The kid just want to hear feel the wind and go woo woo woo. They don't need to be out there watching trucks go by them and almost take their arm off. You know, so you don't got to excite a kid too much. They're already excited just getting in and knowing and the wheels is moving. They think they had an amusement park. So love y'all, man. Stay blessed. Um, stay focused and let's stay safe, man. We at a time where, I mean, we've been at a time where Anybody can check out, but let's don't check nobody out faster than we're we already going. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, let's live a little. See that? Let's live a little, y'all. Y'all see what I do for a living. I love this job. I love this job. Um, and just when I see it, it just makes my stomach hurt. When I see somebody rolling out, look what I'm driving, y'all. Look what I'm driving. People riding around in 10 ton, 10 ton, 20,000 pounds, 14 ton vehicles. I haul 14 ton in a garbage truck, y'all. People flying out on the road. That thing ain't gonna stop on a dime. Triaxle dump trucks, I drive them. Stay off the road with them bikes. Stay in a dead end or a cul-de-sac. Or you be in a sack under the dirt then the driver got to go to jail because he didn't see you or he seen you and it was just too late yup y'all but this vehicle I'm driving right here oh my goodness it would tear a car up a bike flesh a person ain't nothing left don't give me nightmares please stop driving those things out in front of me like I said, I'm up high, I see everything, but it's a lot going on that I gotta worry about. And then you put yourself out there, now I gotta worry about you too. I love y'all, I want y'all to be safe. I know you love your children, I know you wanna show them some cool things, but sometimes cool things ain't meant for the highway. I'm just being honest. I gotta go, y'all, it's time for me to start picking up. Stay blessed, keep it real, keep your eyes open, live, love and laugh.